Good evening folks, we have here the ever luxurious tick watch, tick watch. This is actually the, if I'm correct, the tick watch 2 smartwatch. Um, now this is a pretty high-end watch, um, but the price of this watch is pretty much competitive with uh, the big brands uh, that you're familiar with. Um, I don't have to mention any names, you should be able to work out which big brands I'm talking about. But this watch, as you can tell from just the packaging alone, it actually is supposed to be a pretty well built watch. Uh, so let me just, uh, I find one of these boxes, I need a little knife to just open the bottom. Drum roll, please. And look at that. This is the uh, Tick Watch 2 smartwatch. So that, of course, is just the uh, sticker giving you an idea of what the screen looks like when it's turned on. Let's take this out here. See, as you can see, the packaging is top of the line. I mean, look at that. That looks like a silk pillow. I kid you not. This is a mini a little soap pillow okay all right that gives you an idea of the quality of this watch alone I always tell people the quality of a products packaging will give you an idea of the quality of the product right uh, yeah this looks this looks very exquisite indeed um, this band is very luxurious smooth all right I'm, I'm suspecting it's silicon um, because uh, you know when you're sweating and stuff a lot because of course it is designed for active people because of course it's a smartwatch right so it tracks your your um, biometrics and all that so here's a user guide a nice little box it says user guide what else do you have here and we have the accessories box it has a nice little icon there of a USB cable and the word accessories and then we have some silica gel and an empty box so this is the packaging. Let's move this. This is more packaging. So you get a nice little silk pillow for your watch. Right? Here's the Tick Watch version 2. Accessories and user guide. So let's look at the uh, user guide and see what's in this box. Well this packaging is up there like with the big brands like Apple and Samsung. So you know you're getting a good watch. So we have a nice little, a whole box, all in this little, nice little Tick Watch time control user guide. So remember, this is the Tick Watch 2, uh, the new and improved. So this is a smart wearable, and it runs on Mobvoi's Tickwear Smartwatch OS. So this is not um, your Android OS or your common like uh, uh, iOS um, uh, OS. This is actually a, a proprietary OS um, called Mob. Boys, more boys, M O B V O I. Okay, so uh, it's called their Tickware Smartwatch OS. All right. So here's all the instructions. So, and where you can actually pair, how you to pair your device, all the different screens, and all that lovely stuff. So I will, uh, of course, I always do in my videos. I do an initial unboxing. And then what I do after that is, after I wear it for a while and actually test it, I then do uh, give subsequent reviews on my experience on the device, as well as share all the tech specs and all that stuff. But if you can't wait for the tech specs, you can just go to my website, where I have should have a blog on this by now. If not, come back and check, check a bit later, after I publish this video, and I will have full details on my blog page as well. Which, just in case you're not sure, it's www. Trying to get this out of here. Redtechbot.com. So here's the charging bay. Lovely wireless charging um, bay. Nice little circle. And of course, you put the mini USB cable in here. Plug the other end into a PC or a device that has a 
5 volt USB port and you can charge your device and it's magnetic as you can see it actually sticks right on and you get inductive charging to wirelessly charge your tick watch so let me just take off this uh, fake screen get an idea of the screen but you get an idea I mean this is what this is one typical screen uh, screen version of what it would look like when it's turned on but there are of course other screen faces you can use alright so this looks very nice this is what I would call a watch that would actually rival the likes of you know the Samsung Gear um, S2 uh, even your Apple iWatch um, I'm suspecting um, and the price for this it retails for about 150 to 160 dollars uh, the big brands are usually double that price so you know what I like about uh, a lot of these uh, uh, manufacturers is that you know you bypass the middleman and uh, you can get a pretty decent watch for a pretty decent price right so anyway so this is the initial unboxing this is what it looks like the watch here's the charging bay uh, so let's look at the watch physically uh, a little bit closer so we have a lovely strap this actually feels very very smooth like really like a it borderlines on a silky feel and it's rubber like it's a silicone right but it has a silky feel to it very high-end feel and I'm touching this and as you can see this doesn't smudge so it's non smudgeable and we have the tick watch uh, logo here on the band and there's two of them and then we have a nice uh, charcoal gray looking uh, buckle uh, on the edge of the uh, the band there and uh, it's pretty large because of course it, it does, it's designed to fit adult wrists of course men and women and the size of the watch I find nowadays what you're doing you're making a uh, a watch with a nice, you know, the circular watches with a diameter that is not too big that you know women won't really appeal to it, and it's not too small that men won't appeal to it. It's like just the right size that men and women alike can use this uh, watch. Now, me and my giant man hands here. Here's my giant man wrist. Let's give you an idea of what it looks like on my man, my man wrist. Let's put that on there. Uh, that's what it looks like. All right. So out of curiosity, I think this may have some charge in it. Maybe just turn it on and see what it looks like. Let's turn this light down a bit. Look at that light show as it boots up. Oh, this looks really good. This is definitely Ooh. tick weird side. So it says Android is starting. Okay, now it says here to pair with phone, tickle the side. So what I have to do here, all right? I just follow that little white thing going around the outside. Just do that. And it goes up. So I have to download the Tickware app. T I C W E A R. Oh, there it is. The Tickware Global app. Let's press on that. Install. Is there anything else? So it's just going through uh, some screenshots there. It's a little slideshow. All right, pretty good advertising. So as you can see, they're appealing. This appeals to both women, uh, women that are in fitness. All right, they come in various colors as well, and from him, for men as well. All right, so this is a watch for him and for her. All right, see, I'm letting my phone do the advertising for me. Yeah, pretty cool. So put in, uh, put in, in my. Uh, you put in your weight, your age, and all that, and then you put in your step goal here. So I put 10,000 steps. Now it's telling me to place the tick watch in front of the camera and do a manual pair, or I can do a manual pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the camera app, the camera option here. As you can see, look at that. There's a camera. So what I have to do on the watch is I have to just scroll up here to see this uh, code here. This, and then I'm going to then put this in front and I should be pairing automatically here pairing success and we're paired we have a big tick mark there so we're paired so I've paired my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with my tick watch 2 smartwatch alright so I guess it's syncing like my contacts and all that and other details and here I see now it's telling me here I have all these watch faces I can choose from it's loading apps designed for my wrist convenience enabled by AI and gestures so a lot of stuff going on here 
well all right let's leave it leave it for a bit and there's a little progress a little progress line it's going around the circumference of the foot of the watch this is a really nice looking watch by the way guys um, hey it's Christmas coming around the corner this would make a great Christmas gift for your other half or for yourself you know treat yourself after working hard hard all year paying taxes why not get yourself a lovely tick watch all right now what I like about this it has that look that you know it's designed for for people who are into exercising but yet with the nice round watch face the nice simple look one button on this side and a touch screen of course um, lovely color touch screen um, it also looks like a really nice high-end watch so the tick watch is ready and it says that you have completed the steps on the phone tick watch is ready for normal use and then here now it's telling me to swipe left to get started so let's just look at that a little closely S swipe right to go back so you can swipe along the screen now look at that swipe up to view notifications swipe up so you can see remaining battery and all that and yes it is very easy okay so swipe down to return to the watch face and that's your lovely high-end watch face swipe right or say OK Tico for voice assistant now what's great about this phone as well is you know you can use that phrase that I mentioned to activate the voice uh, search or the voice command but if you don't want to do that you can just swipe right on your phone on your watch sorry like that showmecnn.com So here you can see CNN.com on my screen here, on my watch, view the latest news, but if I swipe to the left, I can then open the app on my phone, and there is CNN. So it has a, really, it's a lot of cool little features like that, which really makes this uh, a very versatile watch indeed. Long press to change the watch face. Okay, it's long press. So if I, oh, so then I can actually change my screen here. I can use that one, that's sports. Ooh. What else is there? So, there's all these different watch faces here. Look at this one. Yeah, it's like a retro digital looking watch. And there's a ton of them. Look at this one. The watch face consumes battery faster. So they even warn you, like certain watch faces, I guess the more animations and stuff you have, it's going to use the battery up even faster. But yes, I'm okay. Go ahead. Um, so let's hold it down again here. So this is one. I don't want any more warnings. I'm good. So that's that one. Lovely. What else do we have? Oh, let's look at some more watch faces first. This is a uh, some lovely flowers on there. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, plum flowers. What else do we have here? Oops. Oh, Ghost Rider. Hmm. This looks nice in the dark room. What else do we have? We have quite a few faces that are pre-installed on this thing. Triplex. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we have here. Oceanus. This looks nice. What I like about this is that you actually see the second hand moving just like on a real watch. Um, and if you notice when I let go, for after about five seconds I think the screen is going to go a little dim. So, yeah, there you go. So that's more than five, maybe five seconds, and it goes into this kind of uh, uh, power save mode, where you have like a a, a, a light uh, a light gray on a black background, right? And that's a similar technology that you see in the uh, actually in the Note 8 as well. Uh, it has that technology where you have um, let me just bring this close so you can see you have a white uh, characters on a black background right so this is always on technology so the Tico smartwatch also has that same type of technology built in right so you have the always on feature and you can always you know always always on feature on your on your watch which is really good so it doesn't blank out and go black right so like a real watch you always have it on and if you just tap it and it comes back into this color mode right really cool so let's see what other screens they have, what other faces they have on here. Oops, they have a lot. Space time, let's show you a couple more. Now, this is a really nice watch, guys. I've I've done, reviewed quite a few watches in my time, but this one is up there. This is up there, and 
I will even be bold enough to say that this rivals some of the big brands. Like the look and feel, the quality of the build, the uh, even what I love. I'm uh, this, this side. I'll talk about that in a second. Like along the side here, this is actually touch sensitive side, so you can actually scroll up and down uh, using that as opposed to touching the screen, right? And the reason that's really good is because a lot of us have oily fingers and dirty hands, and you don't want to smudge our nice screen, right? Uh, so you can just use the side to scroll up and down, right? So these are all the watch faces that we're going through. There's quite a few here: steel, Miss Pink, Calendar, Golden Compass, Celestial. Look at all of these watch faces. Stack. That's an interesting one. Could I? All right. And what I like, if you've noticed. There are watch faces that guys would like, and there are watch faces that ladies would like as well. There's something here for everyone, and there's a ton of... Okay, so here, you can actually add more watch faces online, right? So, let's uh, get out of that. So I guess if I press this, this is like the home key. And uh, let me choose another watch face. Uh, this is a nice one, right? So look at that. Really, really nice. Now, I believe we just went through a quick tutorial on how to actually use this. So to, um, I guess you can scroll up here, you can see the remaining battery. So I have 10%, uh, because I just took it out of the box, so this is what it was keying with pre-charged. And um, if I scroll down, I can uh, turn, go into airplane mode. This is uh, do not disturb mode, there's no vibration and this is of course silent mode vibration only which I will be using and then scroll down some more so you can see the bad um, some other other information here on the bottom and then if I scroll this way there's music player and a couple of other things here which you can see so I mean I just caught this out so this is just a quick overview I will uh, after using this for a while come back with even more a detailed review so here it's the weather widget and it's telling me that it's raining outside and there's even animation of rain on this thing and it's telling me the time not the time sorry it's telling me um oop, telling me the temperature low and high and it's actually showing me that it is raining there in the background yeah it is that is darn cool and uh what else is there it's giving you the forecast for the next uh, three days there and uh, here is where you get access to your app, so does health, your dialer, calendar, fitness, weather, which we just saw, player, stopwatch, recorder, where you can actually record, do a quick, you know, record. So let me just press this button here. Hi, my name is Richie, and I'm doing a initial review of the TickWatch smartwatch. This is the version 2 edition, and this is a really darn cool watch. And you can just stop recording and save it, right? So it's saved here. Um, and then I can, uh, there's music on this thing, so you can play it back, of course. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Richie, and I'm doing the initial review of the Tick Watch Smart Watch. This is the version 2 edition, and this is a really darn cool watch. So that is actually coming from the built-in speaker in this watch itself, right? This comes in very handy when you're in the office or you're recording a, 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 a meeting or whatever. Now, normally you can go to your phone and you can run the uh, recorder app, but that's native on the phone. But there is one that is native on the actual watch itself, which is darn cool. Um, what else is there? Let me just press this button here to go home. And... Uh, so there's a ton of stuff on here. Heart rate, of course. And here is the mob voice door. Let me turn on the lights a bit more so we can just look at this, the physical watch itself. I'll just move my phone here on the side. Thank you, Note 8. You've been a great help. So what I wanted to show you is the actual phone itself. What I want to show you was the actual watch itself. So, the back here, let me just take this plastic off because I'm going to be using this now. 
we have the you can see it right there the tick watch logo powered by Mobvoi we have the sensor here that takes your heart rate and all that and uh, one of the things I'm going to show as well is that these straps can be taken off and replaced because they have these little clips here there's one right there and there's a clip right here so you can actually take these straps off and put your own custom ones on now I have a nice set of um, brown leather straps I'm actually going to put on here because um, this is a very nice watch face so on this side we have our push button which is our home button and along the side here this is actually a, a touch sensitive uh, surface if you want to scroll up and down without touching the screen you can just use the side of the watch to scroll up and down right isn't that cool so there's no moving parts there's no wheel that moves it's just touch sensitive so I'm just going back into the app just to show you what else is what the app looks like and the experience inside the app here so this is the tickwear app um, yes enable notifications so this is the uh, go back here this is the intro screen here so at the top here it can actually sh it shows you the amount of battery life you have I have 90% battery and it tells me that I'm connected via Bluetooth and here's my little counter here that tracks my steps so right now it says zero because I just unboxed this watch I haven't used it yet um, that's the watch there that's the part number and at the top left hand corner when I press that I can actually say sync apps uh, there's a contact us button um, and more stuff there as well now here we have like a little dashboard or a little menu here so if I was to click here I can actually manage all my notifications um, manage uh, my privacy so you know you can actually just get a notification on your watch but the more details uh, if you want to if you want to display more details um, you can um, specify how you want that to be done right um, and then you can disable when the screen is on so you can say that when the phone screen is on disable notifications on your watch and here you can optimize SMS messages you can also block app notifications so it's inside here where you can actually select which apps are not supposed to send you any updates to your phone or any notifications um, which are and, and those which you want to send right so here's where you would actually add and remove the apps that you want to have send notifications to your watch Right, so just a quick overview of the notifications tab. Here, my favorite is the watch face, and here is all the watch faces that can't that come pre-installed on the phone. So you simply just press the watch face that you want, and then you can see within less than a second uh, the watch um, is the watch face is updated on the phone. So let's press another one here. See, that's the uh, the Sun 2 watch face. This one is the Tiffany watch face. Here's the Torbillions watch face. One of my favorite here, the Metal Orange watch face. You get the picture, right? Normal white. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Golden Compass. Oh, that's also a nice one. And Miss Pink. Yeah, not bad. And let's just find one more here. Uh, just a demo. Oceanus. All right. So very, 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 very easy. Um, quick cards you go in here and you can set your quick card so you have music weather health and you can actually add a couple more as well in here all right here's the app store so the mob voice store so what they're saying is that you can actually access it on your watch by swipe swiping left so let me just swipe left here and the watch door should be here it is so let me see is that the app free click Matt Christopher free. so here are all the so here are all the apps in the app store so there's a, a you can actually access the, the mob voice store on your watch um, and here's a, a couple of uh, free apps here badminton scorekeeper FTP app light uh, and metic so these are uh, uh, custom apps uh, that you can get on the, the Mob Boy store, right? Um, so that's that. Um, so here's, of course, your health um, 
widget where you can actually track your steps, exercise, uh, a minute by minute distance that you've covered by walking and running and calories burnt and they have a nice little chart here which I'm sure will fill up with lovely colors of, of bars when it shows you you know your progress here's a weather widget where you can actually add your location to get customized weather information here's the music widget so if there's any music that you have uh, on your phone I don't have any mp3s on my phone uh, you can sync them onto your watch right so you because the watch does have memory and you can play the music via, through your watch right so if you're running you don't have to have your bulky phone on you you can just have your music that's uploaded to your watch and then via a bluetooth ear uh, headset you can listen to your music while running perfect here is one of my favorite apps the recorder so when you record uh, stuff on here you can actually uh, have it synced to your phone and you can actually access your recordings here on the phone and I think this is your fitness widget here uh, where oh here you can actually um, use Google Fit, Runkeeper and Strava and actually authorize uh, syncing up with you know you of course you would need to have accounts on these uh, services and that's where you can upload all of your fitness information and it's like so these are like social social media uh, uh, zones for for physical people that are into physical fitness right so you can upload your stats and share them with others and whatnot and uh, yeah that's just a quick overview oh, so there's some more here here oh there's another good one taxi so you can actually link this to your uber app and actually access uber services from your watch now one other thing I want to mention is that the Tico smartwatch is IP65 rated so it is resistant to dust and water but I would not recommend going underwater with this thing or submerging it, right? So you can I mean you can run outdoors in the rain with this thing, but you know it's not like you know totally you can totally submerge this in water. Uh, but it is IP65 rated. Now the screen it's around OLED display, 1.4 inches in diameter. Um, it has a 287 pixel per inch um, screen, as you can tell by the quality of these. Uh, just these watch faces alone, you can see that this is a pretty decent screen. Um, it comes with 512 megabytes of RAM. It comes with four gigs of ROM. So I mean, that's uh, some good memory there as well. And uh, of course, Bluetooth 4.1. And it also has a built-in Wi-Fi radio, so it is it can connect to 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi networks directly. All right, which comes in handy when you want to access applications and data on the web battery comes with a 300 milliampere hour battery and um, the operating system is called Tickware based on the Android OS um, and as I showed you just now it, uh, earlier it has the mob vo voice search engine embedded now what I love about the health app uh, something I want to show you in here as well it has this really cool uh, animation that shows you three colors one is red one is blue one is green and pretty much what that sh what that means is the red shows the number of steps that you've taken. So I have like a goal of ten thousand steps a day. So I've actually done more than that for today. Um, ten thousand four hundred seventy-seven. It's pretty cool. And then the blue one is the shows the distance that I've traveled. And uh, today I've done, I've done about four point one miles of walking. And um, uh, let me see. So there's red, blue, and green. Let me just double check. So red is the steps blue is the exercise and green is active hours so there's other things in here like calories and distance and everything and purple but it shows you the three the three key ones in and and, and of course the the more you you traverse or the higher you go uh, the more uh, the, the the colors go around if you get it right um, clockwise so there's a nice little graph to show you your, your progress so as you can see I've been pretty active today 10,477 steps, 4.1 miles walked, uh, 283 kilocalories burnt, 36 minutes of exercise, and 9 active hours. Now, I, I didn't go to the gym today, so that's just like normal, you know, walking here, going to the store, walking around the office, you know, small things like that. But I just wanted to show you that really cool feature. So that's the what the red one shows you, 10,000 steps. And this one is the... 36 um, minutes of active exercise the goal is 30 so as you can see I've done a lot there and then this one is the green active hours right nine active hours 
right? And it then gives you other stuff. So it's pretty cool. So that, my friends, was the review of the Tico Smartwatch version 2. Now, if you're interested in getting more information on this lovely watch, uh, in addition to getting one of these for yourself and buying it, check the link below the screen, and you can get these here at a pretty decent rate. Um, so, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and feel free to leave comments down below. Have a good evening, everyone. Hey, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once. And, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have... You know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing... Of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.